Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton in Art to Life. And today I thought I would just take a couple minutes and show you the inside of my sketchbook because I'm almost done with this one and it's going to get put on a shelf and no one's going to probably see it. So, uh, you know, I was just looking at it and thinking, God, this might be cool, you know, and the whole point of these vlogs uh, are to inspire people and get them to do something. You know, maybe if you see something or someone shows you something, it'll fire you up and you'll go into the studio and do something. So that's the idea here. And uh, so I just thought I'd, I'll walk you through this. The, the point of this book uh, for me, what I'm doing is this, these journals that I keep um, are really reminders as to what lights me up, what, uh, is exciting and and part of what makes lights me up besides all the subject matter and all the different topics in these books are the daily art page and I don't do it every day but mostly I take a spread and I I do something it's five minutes a couple minutes sometimes all I have is a pen and it's just a practice that I do and some of them turn into more paintings and sometimes I do it um, you've seen it I'll, I'll do it on Instagram or whatever but anyway this is the book uh, right here that, um, that, that, that that it's almost done. So uh, I just thought I'd quickly roll through and show you some of the spreads. So I have a whole index of things that I'm tracking from birding to cooking to workshops to the vision of art to life, um, all kinds of cool stuff. The tiny house I'm building with my daughter, films I want to see, quotes. But anyway, that's for another day. Um, so here's, here's how it goes. So here's how these look. Um, uh, I'll just go through these, you know, sometimes they're real simple. This is, I use crayon a lot. Um, and I usually leave this page, page blank so I can write things in it. This is the things that are really happening on that day. Um, and each day is kind of different. These are notes from other things. There's lots of lots of notes and things that are taken in different places for different things. Uh, here's another page. This is kind of cool how when I wrote on the other side, it transferred my um, lettering. I just love all this lettering in there, it's so cool. I use pencil and paint. Sometimes I can't finish it. I like this one, this is kind of cool. And I also started getting into this year, or in this book a lot more, making these two pages work together. I used to just think of this as it's separate, but it's a spread, you know, so I bring up the colors. Sometimes they're really simple. Um, I love, I almost love these pages the most because they get, the color gets spread onto them sometimes. This one's all about ease. I have a section for stories. And again, this book's almost done. So this is, by the time this comes out, this book will probably be finished and I'll be on to a new one. Let's see here. Sometimes it's just a color, which actually works pretty well, <laughs> you know, for a day. What color does your day want to be? The reason that this is taco night, isn't that perfect? The reason that um, a color, the reason this is helpful for me is that it keeps me in this language. Uh, I might not get to the studio, but I've done something. Something surprising happens. And it's abstract thinking. And uh, again, it's these pages. So I'll take that paint and transfer it over. Oh, we got a ways to go. Oh my God, sorry. Okay. This is just pen. That one's pretty cool. Some of them are okay. And other ones, like this one's kind of weird. Um, this is great how that paper tore, it glued on. If you close the book up, um, if you close the book up, you get 
the paint transfers, but you don't want to leave it close because then it will glue together. This is kind of cool. It's fun to go back and look at it because I remember each of these days so well. This is kind of a dud page, but kind of interesting still. This, I love this one. I like this page a lot, you know. Occasionally you get a page. These are my lists of all the things. Oh no, this is the page I like. This, I love this page. Favorite spread right here. And just the colors. I got kind of on a roll and I started painting more into these. These I'm sanding. This is kind of cool. And I'll take these, and this is, I just did this today. Um, these really influence my, my uh, painting in the studio. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, let me know how you stay connected to what you're making. If you have a practice uh, off to the side of your art making, some little small thing, let me know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. Um, this week coming out on the podcast, I'm talking about objectivity. And, uh, you know, there's sort of the emotional investment that we make in art, making it really personal. But there's this also the flip side of that is having objectivity. And it's really cool to have both and bringing objectivity into your work brings a sense of universality to it. It makes other people connect to it and they can relate to it. Anyway, it's something that I haven't talked a lot about and I think it's, um, it's pretty interesting. So that's coming out on the podcast. Click on the link below to subscribe and uh, listen, I hope you have a, an awesome Sunday. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share and inspire you with every single week. So. Join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.